Hey there, it's Diana. Today is March 7th, and hey, I want to share an awesome story with y'all. So this story blew me away. It's of a little girl and her memory of heaven, and this is actually one of my close personal friends. It's his daughter's story, and she's the same age as my daughter. So she's seven now, but she was six and a half when she had this experience. He told me this story almost a year ago, and I've told a few friends, and I hadn't really thought about making a video on it. And then the other day, somebody, when I was telling them this story, suggested to make a video on it because they were like, that sounds pretty awesome. So I said, you know what? I think that's a good idea. So I just met with my friend this week and he retold the story and I have it here on video. So in a minute, you're going to hear him tell about the conversation that he had with his little girl. And he was also able to record part of their conversation on the night that she told him everything. And some of it's a little bit hard to hear on the video, but I think you'll be able to get an overall picture. And honestly, I just love hearing not only my daughter's stories and dreams, of her experiences of heaven and meeting Jesus, but really all children. I mean, there's so many children now as the Lord is pouring out his spirit onto young and old alike. And so many kids have just these awesome stories and really let us know that Jesus is real, heaven is real, and I just love hearing them. But this little story I'm about to tell y'all, this little girl, her story is incredible. It's different than anything I've ever heard before. It's the only story like this I've ever heard before because she remembers what heaven was like before she was born here on earth. And she gives some pretty awesome details. So it's pretty incredible. I believe every word of it. And I just wanted to share it because it really touched my heart. And I think this story could possibly help someone discover their true identity. And those who have accepted Jesus, you know, as their Lord and Savior, they know who they are. We know who we are at least we should know who we are as our identity is stated in scripture. You know, we are children of the most high God. We know we are heirs to his throne. We know that we are seated in heavenly places next to Christ Jesus, far above principalities and powers. We know that we have been predestined to adoption as sons and daughters into God's eternal family and the kingdom of heaven is our inheritance. So, Anyways, I just kind of felt like that her story sort of ties in with our identity. And once you know who you are and why you were created, then that's when it's truly life-changing. You know, we don't belong to this world and we know it, right? This world is not our home and we are homesick because we can't wait to be in the presence of our Heavenly Father. And this little girl, she just expresses how she wants to go back to her home, which is in heaven. So... I just want you to take her story and make of it as you will, but I just thought it was awesome. So I hope it blesses y'all. And now I'm going to turn it over to my friend, Sean. Hey y'all, I'm Diana's friend, Sean. And uh, my daughter, one night on May 6, 2017, I know that because I recorded it because I was just so compelled and amazed by what she was telling me. Um, she was six years old and one night I was putting her to sleep and mom left the room and she told me to shut the door and she told me that she needed to tell me some things about heaven and she got really quiet and said get really close and she started whispering to me about heaven and I, you know at first I was like okay because my daughter never does this kind of thing you know and she was very serious so she just started saying you know she started telling me about how I was her daddy how like she didn't know I was going to be her daddy like that's really kind of how it started. Like she just was like so thankful that I was her dad because when she was in heaven, they didn't know like who would be their mom or dad when they would leave heaven. But she would talk about, you know, it pretty much started where she was talking about that daddy, it's in the, it's in the clouds. And, you know, I'm so sad because I miss heaven. I really want to be back in heaven, daddy. Like can we go back to heaven. And I mean, she's almost crying. Like in bed out of nowhere, I'm like, honey, well, well, like, why are you so upset? She's like, daddy, I just, I don't like being on this earth. Like, I want to go back to heaven. I want to go back home. Like, I, I love heaven. It's so much better than here, daddy. Like, it's nothing compared to here. And can we just go back? And I truly believe we're going to go back soon. So I was like, well, honey, we're going to go back soon. And I was like, well, tell me about heaven. Like, what, what do you mean, you know? And she's like, well, daddy, like heaven it's in the clouds and I, I love it because the colors are so beautiful and there's like rainbows everywhere and all the colors are so bright and beautiful. It's nothing like compared to here, like no color can compare to like what it 
matters here. And mind you, she's six, so she's speaking really articulate and just she's speaking very definitive, very assertive. And this whole time she's whispering because she doesn't want mommy to hear. Like, mommy believes, but she's not like a believer believer. Like, you know, she's not, I don't know, I hate to say it, but I don't know if she's like fully, you know, accepting Christ as her Lord and Savior. So uh, she continues to talk. She tells me about how it's, you know, just the most beautiful thing. And then she starts going into this donut shop. And she's like, Daddy, I miss this shop that we used to go into. Like, all these buildings, you could see right through them. Like, you could see the people in them. And there's angels everywhere. And, like, there's so many kids. Daddy, there's so many kids. There's so many people to play with. And it's so great. And this donut shop is beautiful. Everything is transparent. Like, she doesn't know what transparent means, but she was saying that everything, every building you could just see through. And so she was talking about that when you look through the donut shop and you go in, like the smells were amazing and she loved a certain kind of donut there and she'd eat it every day. And like, you know, she said, there's no cleaning in heaven because everything that you eat will fall through the floor and through the clouds and like you never have to pick anything up. And she was like, gosh, I miss that place, daddy. It was the best tasting donuts and the best smells you ever smelled. And I'm like, okay. I was like, well, what did you do in heaven? You know, she's like, well, we had a teacher that would teach us all about heaven and earth. And he was the best teacher, daddy. All the kids loved him. Like all the kids would like want to gather around and we would see him every day. And he was the best. And he taught us about earth and what would happen on earth. And, and he taught us about heaven and how, when we come back to heaven, what's going to happen. And uh, I was like, well, honey, I was like, who is this teacher? Like, do you remember his name? Like, I'm trying to see, like, if she remembered anything else. And she's like, yeah, daddy, I remember his name. And she's like, um, um, and she's thinking about it. And then she, out of nowhere, she's like, oh, I remember his name. His name's Jacob, daddy. And I just remember getting goosebumps and chills all over me and just was like, Jacob? And then she's like, yeah. And she's like, he was the best. Hey, daddy, everybody loves him in heaven. He is so liked and he's just the best teacher and I and I was like okay honey well you know that and in my head I'm like that's amazing I need to record this because she just kept saying more I wish I could remember all of it but I went and grabbed my iPad real quick told her I had to use the bathroom came back with my iPad and then I secretly recorded some you know pretty much the rest of the conversation and I've asked her even today if she remembers anything and she doesn't so I truly feel like this was the Holy Spirit putting this on her to tell me this message about how she was so happy I was her dad. So I'm gonna play this for you now, and um, I'll, I may stop it at some point just to explain what she was talking about, but uh, hopefully y'all can hear it well. So tell me about heaven. I don't need you. I'm not doing a video. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Tell me about heaven. Every time I fall asleep, mm -hmm. heaven, and I always was so excited if I was a boy or girl. But if I were a boy, I was very confused because I kind of looked like a girl. And I imagined how it would look like if I were a girl or a boy. And I'm just going to stop it there for a second because what she was explaining was, you know, she was so little and she was still like a, almost like a baby, you know, when a baby's being formed or when a baby's born, you can't really tell what it is until, you know, you know, it's sex, you know, so when you see it in the womb, you, you can't tell a human's a human, you know, uh, so this is kind of her explaining that kind of saying, I don't know if I was a boy or girl or what I was going to come earth as because I kind of looked as a boy and I kind of looked as a girl so she's speaking about being in heaven and knowing she was coming to earth not knowing who her parents were going to be not knowing what sex she was going to be so I'm going to just keep playing it when I was always time to sleep I looked until I was so asleep like right now So I got to our feet and he always told us a story and guess what he did that was the best. 
Where was the past? When we were going to bed, he always gave us a book. He gave us the same book he had in his hand reading to us. And they were little baby word books so we could read them. So it made sense. How do you know about souls? How do you know you have a soul? Who told you that? I just know it. Because when you have a soul, it's just like a green ghost. It's not a ghost. It's yourself. It looks like yourself. At one age, and age is the age that you look the prettiest. The best is in, in your age. And you always get to spend that time in heaven. And heaven is the best place to ever be. And what was God like? Was What was the best thing that happened in heaven? The best thing was that every time when I went to They always gave us a toy back with the same toys, and we always played with all of them, and they were so fun. I wish I could be in heaven again. Rather than Earth? What is the one who came with you but doesn't happen to I wish. Because when flying on an airplane, like flying up wings, that's where I try to make hot air balloon or berry wings. Because I want to fly so I can see what's going down my mouth. Because I see the blue sky, and I'm when there's a blue sky. You go above it and there always heaven. I didn't know who knew it was going to be my daddy. But I was it was someone good. But I guess my dream came true. And you were the perfect daddy for me. I love you so much, baby. We're going to go back soon, okay? Let's get some rest.